arithmetic progressions dear students observe the numbers shown in the screen can you tell few next terms of this group yes these are 7 8 9 and so on how do you found all these terms firstly you understood the relation between terms of the group and then you applied the same relation to find the next terms confused let me help you in the given group of numbers the difference between the second term and the first term that is 2 and 1 is 1 similarly if you find difference between third term that is 3 and its previous term that is 2 then you will get same answer that is 1 it means that the difference between the consecutive terms is 1 this difference is called common difference dear students such group of numbers in which the numbers that is terms are arranged according to certain rule is called a sequence and if in such sequence the next term is obtained by adding a fixed number to previous term then such sequence is called arithmetic progression or more simply if the difference between any two consecutive terms in the given sequence is equal then it is an arithmetic progression now as you are somewhat familiar with arithmetic progression that is ap let us take one more example here are some numbers can you determine if it is an ap or not yes this is an arithmetic progression because the common difference is 5 please remember that the common difference could be positive negative or zero general representation of an ap consider that we have an ap t1 t2 t3 t4 so on for which the first term that is t1 is equal to a and common difference is d then next terms can be obtained as t2 is equal to t1 plus d which is equal to a plus d similarly t3 is equal to a plus 2d and likewise t4 is equal to a plus 3d now if you carefully observe the coefficient of d for all terms then you will notice that it is 1 less than the term number that is t2 is equal to a plus in bracket 2 minus 1 into d t3 is equal to a plus in bracket 3 minus 1 into d t4 is equal to a plus in bracket 4 minus 1 into d so it means that if there are n terms in an ap then the nth term will be tn is equal to a plus in bracket n minus 1 into d this is the required representation of an ap using this equation we can find any term of the given arithmetic progression for example find the 51th term of an ap 20 17 14 
11, so on. In the given AP, first term that is A is equal to 20. The common difference is second term minus first term that is D is equal to 17 minus 20 which is equal to minus 3. So, using the general formula, Tn is equal to A plus in bracket N minus 1 into D, we get T51 is equal to 20 plus in bracket 51 minus 1 into minus 3. On solving the equation, we get T51 is equal to minus 130.